be forbidden, but here we go, Barry, call the popos. I've been too popo, call anything Yo, this free right shit, this shit kind of wild, bro. Hey, but um, look, check this out. Um, I just want to address some wild shit real quick. So, hold on, 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 hold on real quick. I'm going to just address some wild shit real quick. I've been getting some weird ass DMs from motherfuckers making videos saying they like a clone. What's up with this clone shit? Like, like when did, like, I can see if I was like a nigga that don't promote anything positive. Okay, like then you could be like, okay, they like got cloned. But to say like a nigga like myself that do as much good as I do and is to do as much positive shit that I do. If I'm a clone, then we need more. We need more fucking clones if I'm a fucking clone. Like, we need more. I seen a fucking three hour video. I mean, a three hour. I seen a video three hours ago that somebody sent me. And it was a black nigga saying why he believed Daylight is a clone. I couldn't believe this shit. I'm like, yo, this is what be going on. So you just ignore everything I did. Every, just ignored everything. Like, like if you listen to everything he says, I agree with it. But if you hear this one part right here, and he kind of glitched a little bit, and if you look at his eyes, his eyes turned to the left while his head turned the other way. And in the background, there was like a Illuminati triangle. If you zoom in real, I'd be like, yo, what the fuck, bro? Yo, these YouTube nigga conspiracy type niggas. Yo, first and most foremost, whichever one of you fuck niggas made the video where it says daylight this is brother polite. And then gonna put the picture of me and brother polite. Like who did why y'all Yo, the shit y'all niggas do for publicity and headline, oh, that gotta be a white person. But then it but then so cold it probably ain't even a white person, it's probably a black person. Like yo, this bro, I'm telling you, bro, shit's spooky out here. Shit is spooky. Like, shit is, like, spooky, spooky, bro. I watched a video of a nigga had a 45-minute video trying to break down why he believe I am a clone and nobody should listen to me. I said, damn. This is what's going on with people with mentality. Like, shit kind of wild, bro. Like, if you think about this, bro, I, I want y'all to really, like, let's really do something. Like, let's really add something up. Let's, let's really add, like, let's, let's add it up. I've did over 15, now I even want to say 15. I'm going to say I've done over 10,000, over 10,000 lives, like live videos. Over 10,000 live videos giving y'all free information on how to better yourself as a human being. You gotta think, I was going live on Periscope. Actually, I was going live on Tiny Chat before Periscope. So I've been doing this shit before I even reached y'all plateau. Before, like, y'all, a lot of y'all new niggas, y'all just now getting aboard the daylight movement. I've been doing this shit since Tiny, School, Tiny Chat. Y'all just now, I did, I, I, I navigated through Tiny Chat, built my whole Tiny Chat following. That's how I met 360, you know, the rapper from Australia. That's how I met 360, Tiny Chat. So I built my Tiny Chat following. Um, boom, I did everything through Tiny Chat. Then when Periscope came, I built my whole Periscope following. Then when Instagram started having Instagram Live, I went Instagram Live. I've been doing this shit for a very long time. I'm about, I'm about seven years in this shit, bro. Of trying to give people valuable information, helping people with depression, helping people get by in life, fucking giving people all type of opportunities, fucking inviting people on trips, paying for people colleges, tuition, all type of shit, bro. I didn't did so much shit. It, it ain't my nigga. I didn't gave niggas I don't know my last dollar, bro. I didn't done to look. All I'm saying is. All I'm saying is this. With all the shit I wake up and do every day. Y'all seen Red?
Reg. Y'all see a lot of y'all just look at Reg. Y'all don't know Reg. Reg is a nigga from the comments who came to California and was able to live in my house. I don't even know the nigga. I'm broke. Because I believe I walk through this world protected. I don't have a fear in the world. When you got a mission, you got a plot. You ever watch the book of Eli? When you got a mission and you got a plot, nothing can't hurt you. Nothing, bro. I walk through this world with a specific mission, so I fear nothing, bro. Absolutely nothing. I'm not afraid to let a stranger in my house because I fear nothing. I'm not afraid to let a stranger walk up to me. I fear nothing, bro. Because I know my purpose. When it's your time to go, it's your time to go. If it ain't your time to go, it ain't your time to go. I fear absolutely nothing. I walk in the most hazardous and dangerous conditions. I fear nothing, bro. Because it ain't my time yet. When it's my time, it's your time. It's your time. It's your time. Bro, I let strangers stay with me, bro. A nigga just walked a stranger nigga. Bro, the nigga in here right now, I'm pretty sure he in there right now. A nigga named uh, motherfucking uh, mother, uh, Elijah Muhammad. Elijah Muhammad. Like like the prophet, whatever. Nigga, nigga hopped out the bushes at my house about 12 o'clock at night. Come over from the game. Nigga hopped out the bushes. Yo, daylight. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is you? He's like, what's up, man? I, I just want to holler at you. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? He's like, yeah, man. Uh, he was doing weird shit. I want to talk to you. Uh, you need to help me. Uh, uh, God. This is a random nigga outside my house telling people he got and all that type of shit. I'm like, look, my nigga. Whatever you own tonight, G, hear me out. Whatever you, I'ma just let you know, I'm tired. I just finished playing basketball, I'm tired. We can talk about this shit some other time. I just wanna go home and go to sleep, my nigga, I'm tired. I ain't about to tell you, get the fuck out of here, you on some weird shit. I ain't about to disrespect you or nothing. All I'm saying is I'm tired. All right, I'm just tired. He was looking at me like, what the fuck? I'm like, yeah, my nigga, I ain't gonna make you leave or nothing. I'm just, I'm tired. So a couple of days later, knocking on my door in the morning. Remind you, I don't even know how the nigga found out how I live, where I live. Nigga knocking on my door in the morning. Bam, bam, bam. I open the door. Man, what the fuck are you doing over here? Man, oh, man, you doing some weird shit, my G. He like, he like, like, oh, you doing some weird shit? He like, man, like, I just need you to help me and all type of shit. So I'm like, look, bro, I'm going to talk to you. Remind you, the police came, all type of shit. Police came, all they trying to escort the nigga off the property. He like, I ain't leaving, all type of shit. I got guns out and all that. Remind you, I got the burner. I'm about to smoke the nigga, all type of shit. Right? So then I said, you know what? Fuck all the police, fuck the guns, fuck the all that. Let's just take a walk. I took a walk with a random stalker. Random nigga, I took a walk with him. Let's just walk, bro, fuck it. What you gotta say? Fuck it. If you gonna kill me, whatever you gonna do, let's just do it away from the house. I walked with a random stranger nigga, bro. Nigga told me his problems, told me what he needed, what he wanted. And I told him anything I can help you with, just tell me. He told me what he wanted, and I said, I'll help you, all right. Then, bro, went home, and that was it. There comes times in your life where you had to realize something. My nigga, if you're going to help niggas, and you're going to say you're going to help niggas, then help niggas. You even got to help the weirdos, too. It's a lot of weirdos. You got to help the weirdos, too. You got to help everybody. Fuck it. So I, from that day on, I said, you know what? My arms open. My arms wide open. My arms open, bro. Whoever want to come holler at me, holler at me. I don't give a fuck, my nigga. If you on some weird shit, it depends on what type of weird shit you on. Because at the end of the day, I'm still a street nigga. So if you on some weird, like, sexual type shit, like you want to keep hugging the nigga and all. Like, if I give you a hug and you want to, like, hold on to a nigga, like, too long, I'm going to bank your shit, man. You doing weird. But if you want to, like, mutual conversation about some... And I'm open for whatever. So, more of the story is, what I'm saying is this, bro. I do a lot of shit for a lot of people. And I don't ask for nothing in return. I keep telling y'all, I'm not like the rest of these fucking leaders and all these fucking conscious niggas and all these niggas trying to get y'all to buy sage books and ayahuasca challenges and all types. I don't want y'all to do nothing. 
I'm going to give y'all whatever information I got, whatever knowledge I got, you can have this shit. Whatever information you, I got, whatever knowledge I got, you got had this shit, bro. Like, cause I got the shit for free. I ain't gonna charge you for something I learned on the internet. I learned all this shit. Then the shit that I do know that I didn't get from the internet, I tell y'all the only way you gonna find this shit is if you deeply meditate and go within. There's information that's not on the internet. There's a lot of information that would never make it to the internet. And that's the shit that's inside you. That's the shit that's on our DNA code. That's the shit passed down through our grandparents' eyes. That's the information that is inside DNA code. It's books inside our body. You gotta go with deep with it. Deep, deep levels of meditation to find that shit out inside yourself. And I tell y'all that all the time. But the fact that I see videos like Daylight is Illuminati confirmed. I be, look, my nigga. I keep telling y'all niggas with this Illuminati confirmed shit. If there's Illuminati in this bitch right now, my nigga, holler at me. I'm trying to sign up. Y'all, man, how you going? You know what? You know what I hate? It's like when your girl think you cheating, right? How many niggas got like a girlfriend and they girlfriend swear to God they was out fucking? You could be out playing basketball because we all cheat on our wives with basketball every last one. But you could be out doing some shit. You come home, your wife swear to God you fuck somebody. You fucking. Ain't nothing you can tell her. You fucking. So you say, man, shit, I, man, I wish I would have fucked. Shit, where the fuck the bitches at? Might as well. You might as well fuck, because shit, it ain't nothing you can do to make her believe you didn't fuck somebody. Ain't nothing worse than getting pussy you didn't get. It ain't broke. My wife be swear to God, I done fucked every girl that walked past. I be like, shit, I wish I might as well just start. I remember at one time I walked by, right? It was Missy Ellie. I looked at Missy Ellie. I saw Missy. My girl was looking at me like, I know you fucked her. I was like, damn. I wish. Shit, I fucked the dog shit out of Missy in that trash bag. Is your piggy piggy lamp lamp? Remember the your piggy piggy lamp lamp? Is your piggy piggy lamp lamp? Remember that? Ah, they got all in that trash bag that Missy used to wear. Missy was the only kind of chubby girl that was bad. Missy was bad. I ain't gonna front. Missy held her ground amongst the, the pretty girls. You can't lie. You can't lie. Missy held her ground amongst the pretty women. She wasn't always the baddest, but she had a thing where you were like, man, ah, man, she, ah, I'll do some things. I'll get down with that. Remember that? Can you work it? Hey, y'all be in the back, you feel me? Nigga used to be like, ah, check Missy ass up. She take that trash bag off. Missy used to have on all type of fluff and love against her. Big old miss. But still, right? So that goes back to this Illuminati shit. Like, my nigga, niggas be like, yo, they like part of the Illuminati, he sold his soul. I'll be like, nigga, where? Where they at, bitch? I'm trying to sign up. I need the private jets, the Bentleys, the Lambs, and all that. Bitch, all the shit the higher up niggas got. Fuck you, me, bitch. I live in an apartment in Irvine, bitch. I'm only a hundred thousand in. What do you mean, man? I got about 100000 in the account. That's it. The fuck, bitch? I'm waiting on my first million, bitch. Where the Illuminati is? What the fuck you niggas talking about? Bitch, I'm trying to sign all the way up. You know how niggas be getting them DMs from the Illuminati page? Like, it's Illuminati sign up now. They don't even send me one. They got me blocked. How the fuck the Illuminati Instagram got me blocked? Bro, they got me, I tried to go to their page to add them and have a mutual conversation. They got me blocked. They 
they said, oh, we ain't fucking with this troll ass nigga. He ain't about to get in our Illuminati thing and expose all our secrets. They know, they like, we ain't letting him in. He like a un, he like a cheater. They know I'm gonna infiltrate my way all the way up to 55th degree Mason. I'm gonna infiltrate that shit. I'm gonna do all the assignments. I'm gonna finish first in class. Nigga, I'm gonna drink all the adrenochrome. What the fuck you mean? Nigga, they gonna be like, what happened to our last supply of adrenochrome? Nigga, I'm gonna be in the back. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like about, I'm, I'm gonna drink so much adrenochrome, bitch. I'm gonna be four years old again. Nigga, I'm gonna be in the back. Like, shit, I don't know. I, I don't know what happened. Somebody else is a part of the Illuminati. 
<laughs> you got your fucking nerves. Man, you might as well kill yourself. Bro. Bro, I swear, bro. Niggas brains. Bro. Niggas out here working in Alabama 625 an hour, seven days a week. Check me 300 uh, 300 every two weeks. You got the nerves to say somebody a part of the Illuminati, bitch, you a slave. What you talking about? Kota Kinte, look at that. Harriet Tubby, look at that. Matt Turner, look at that. What you talking about? What's wrong with you? Oz, come on down there. Look at that. Please let me in here, master. Look at that. Fuck you, Tony. You got the nerves to say anybody part of the Illuminati. Bitch, you a slave. You don't got a right to speak, bitch. Fuck you talking about. Yo, this niggas out here making 525 an hour got the nerves to say somebody sold they sold. Bitch, you sold your soul to Taco Bell. Ah. Fuck you talk about somebody sold they sold, bitch. You sold your soul and volunteered, signed on the contract. I'm gonna work for six twenty-five an hour. What? You got the audacity to say somebody sold they sold, and you work for six twenty-five an hour. $300 every two weeks, bitch, a crackhead make more than you. <laughs> bitch, an actual homeless nigga make more than you. It make at least about 12 an hour. Can you spare some change? I'm rich. Look at that. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, boss, can I take it? Oh. Uh, Boss, can I get tomorrow off? Because my mom going on vacation. No, look at that. We don't have nobody to cover your shift. Look at that. Come on and get this $40 a day plus tax taken out. You made about 27 Look at that. What are you talking about? What's wrong with you? You got the nerves to say somebody sold, they sold. Bitch, you working for $26 a day. You niggas crazy. <laughs> Bruh. You niggas working for $26 a day. Your check be $325 every two weeks. Bitch, you could beg for change and make more than that. You can literally sit on your ass and, with a sign that say, I'm broke as a bitch. Let a nigga hold $1 one time. Bitch, you will make more than 300 every two weeks. Bitch, you can make that in a day in California. Bitch, crackheads out here got PayPal now. Crackhead hit me with the... I, I'm like, he's like, yo, can you spare some change? I was like, man, I ain't got it on me. Like, shit, nigga, you got PayPal, Cash App, nigga, Venmo? I was like, damn, this 2020, you damn right. He talking about you got cash out. I said, oh, these crackheads then stepped it up. I, I had, I'm like, man, what's your cash out? Did your Smokey Joe 25? Man, let me cash out your five real quick. You feel that? I had, I had to cash out a nigga five, bro. It was one of the moments where I was like, yo, we going through another era. My man hit me with the spare some change. I said, no. He said, you got PayPal, Cash App, Vimo, what it is. I said, oh, shit. I can't say no to all of them. I got one of them. I had to shoot my nigga five for the fucker. And I just said, oh, fuck it, my nigga five. You feel me, G? But anywho, I'm about to get off this exit and tune into my shit that I got to do, but... Before I go, I just want to tell y'all niggas, man, like, cut out all this clone shit and all this Illuminati shit. Like, it's other shit y'all should be focusing y'all energy on, like yourself. If you got time to dig in somebody's life to determine whether they a clone or not, maybe you should dig in your own life and determine if you even a real person. How, like, 
the problem is a lot of people dedicate too much of their time looking at other people instead of looking in the mirror. If you ain't out here helping people, uplifting people, or doing whatever you can to make people a better person, then what the fuck are you even living for? You might as well jump off a bridge. If you got the time to determine if somebody else is real or not, if you putting that much time into other people instead of fixing yourself as an individual, then what the fuck you even here for? You are part of the problem. You're a complete part of the problem. If you ain't 100% at your peak condition to help people be better people, then you actually are a problem. Yo, third eye, you've been with me from the beginning of Periscope. You know how this shit works. You know all the people I sent on the right path. You know all the shit that I put into perspective for people to grow. Bro, look at Third Eye Channel. This man created a whole network of consciousness based on an idea that I told him to do. Look at this shit, bro. Like a lot of, if, look, my nigga, I'm gonna just say this right now. If you are a nigga online looking to distract people from the shit that I'm doing, if you are looking to make me look bad in any type of way, dog, you like a demon or you like an FBI agent or you might be a real live clone, bro. I don't do nothing, bro. I don't do I don't do nothing but help. Yo, Third Eye Rap is a whole network of consciousness based on the idea that I gave somebody, bro. I told this man, yo, start a YouTube channel and upload all these conscious nigga shit to your YouTube channel and you're going to build a fucking world. Now it is a whole fucking world of fucking conscious video uploading because of an idea that I put in this fucking world. Bro. If you are a nigga that is trying to distract people from the shit that I'm telling them, my nigga, you are good as a demon or a fucking FBI agent or a fucking clone, my nigga.